Yeah, I'm a third generation dairy farmer in the Otorohonga district, so our family's been paying rates there for almost 100 years. And I suppose the opportunity came in where I was in business and in my life that I felt I needed to give something back to the community. Um, the opportunity arose and um, yeah, I stood and canvassed and got elected. Yeah, I suppose I spent the first three years as a councillor getting a clear understanding of what was involved with council around the RMA and what was going on locally and in the greater community, especially considering 80% you know, of our rates come from the rural ratepayer. With getting an understanding of the air and appreciating that the opportunity was going to come up to stand for the mayoralty, um, once again I canvassed and, and ran for it. And I suppose for the last couple of years um, as mayor, it's getting getting that real understanding of what the job entails and we've been focused on rate reduction at the moment and I feel I'm just starting to get some impetus that we can um, make some changes and really make sure this community and district are vibrant for many years to come. Look, if you're considering standing, you're most away there already. I mean, if you've got a pragmatic approach to business, um, you're passionate about the community and the district, then put your name forward and stand. I think the big thing is ensure you Ensure you're not going in, in there with any single agenda because you'll be exposed straight away that it's, it's more than one point. There's a whole lot of different um, agendas and um, items come up continually on, on the council um, desk. So, you know, certainly when, when we're looking at different demographics, 26% 26, 26 of my community um, are Māori. So I would like to see a greater representation of Māori. I'd like to see a greater representation of young people putting their hands up. I know the challenges are greater, um, but if you believe in yourself, then go for it.